Sell. Wolf's pelt, three gold. Leather straps, three gold. Yarn, a gold. Dinnerware, a gold. Ingredients, two gold. Ring, 15 gold. Total, 24 gold. It's not bad. Um, I'd keep the dinnerware, because you seemed very proud of that. Cadia, go back to that bookstore and buy some magic books for one septum. Obviously, Sagrid has conned the proprietor that they're cheap. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Also, see if you can kill all the imps in her house in exchange for new clothes and or some money. That turned out all right, you guess. You were kind of hoping to get at least enough for Quilly's book, but you can work with this. You've just got to find some more jobs you can do, and you'll be back on budget in no time. Before leaving the store, you asked Trevi about in problem, and if she'd possibly be interested in hiring an intrepid young wizard to handle it. She thanks you for the offer, but reiterates that she still wants to give the imps another day to find their own way out, and if that doesn't work, I'll hire a professional, someone I know who wouldn't get killed on the job. You also check in with Hurdle about those one sept of magic books, hoping maybe you can learn a spell or two before tonight. He says the restoration tome for Quill Weave was his last one, though. The Mage's Guild buys most of his magic books, so you'll have to bother them. Not him. Shoo. Shoo. No, no. Not enough. Go. Get more. Fill up the pot. Ah oh, well, just more to look forward to about tonight, you guess. You're trying to keep a positive attitude, and it kind of helps if you keep your mind busy. You know, keep pondering new ways to make some coin. For instance, you asked Travia what alchemical ingredients people actually buy. You didn't recognize most of the things she named, but she did say primrose leaves might be worth a coin or two. And even if nothing else works out, Pretty soon, you're going to have a regenerating supply of primrose leaves right at your fingertips. Yep, you're still doing fine. Everything's going to be fine. Wait, shouldn't Cadia start detoxing pretty soon? Nope, you're doing fine. <laughs> Let's just concentrate on job hunting. Isn't de- Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. We show off some da amazing dance moves that even rope climbers would envy, and we're seen as standing under street lamps. We should stop cutting off opportunities because other people might think poorly of, them, of us. We don't need them. They never helped us before, no matter how kind we are to them. It doesn't look like they will help us. So, let's dance. Show off our moves. If they think it's bad, then they are the ones who are messed up. We are dancing, and if they won't let us win the competition because they think it's bad, then don't them. Just another thing to check off the list of having tried. We will not go through life regretting what we could have done anymore. We're going to go to the Mages Guild, we're going to get we're going to better ourselves if they let us, and by then and by Katia Monagon. Monagon? Katia Monaghan? Have I been saying Monaghan this whole time and it's been Monaghan? Or is it just a misspelling? I'm like actually worried now. Bye Katia Monaghan. We are going to make it this time. Our way. Haven't we already been over this? Look, you really are trying to forget about the poorly thought out dancing escapade earlier. Maybe it's something you would have done for money back home, but you're a wizard now. That means you can make a living in a proper, respectable way that you can be proud of. Sure, maybe you shouldn't care what people think of you, but you do. You want to see a Kadia Monagon. It is a, okay, a person and a wizard, not some cheap, subhuman cat thing doing flips to pay for the next round of, of mead. But if you're strapped for cash later, and get some decent magic training tonight. Maybe you can come up with an act using magical fire or something? Maybe you've been... Th maybe you've been thinking about it a little. Definitely excited to do column. Maybe column. <laughs> Vampire column. <laughs> 
you move the dance competition into the maybe column with the stipulation that whatever you will do will look classy, respectable, and wizardly. And really cool, so you don't embarrass yourself. You've still got a few days to puzzle something out if you actually do decide to enter. Heck, maybe you'll get lucky and some major event will distract everyone while you're performing. <laughs> you know you know what a well is, right? Big hole in the ground. A big hole filled with water that contains fish you can catch slash kill slash sell slash eat. It's literally fish in a barrel just waiting for you to go after them. Of course! In the meantime, you still have plenty of other options. Lots of opportunities to show everyone how responsible and useful Katia Monagon can be. In particular, you recall meeting a woman who was trying to solve slaughterfish infestation in one of the wells. Perhaps she'd be willing to pay for some wizardly assistance? Even if she's not willing to pay you, perhaps she'll be... Perhaps you'll be able to eat, or even sell those fish, if you get them out. Sounds like a win-win to you. You head to the well. Phew, looks like you showed up just in time to inadvertently save Kavach. Yeah, don't poison the water well. Water hole. You just figured it made more sense that- wait. Katio, why is succeed in life in your potential maybe column? You just figured it would- you just figured it made more sense there, since I mean it's still a little dubious whether you'll actually be able to or not. Alright, fine. You move succeed in life to the excited to do column. Optimism, yay. You're going to see the Mages Guild tonight, and you might even be able to become a full member. That's something to be excited for, right? You add a new column. Super duper excited for column. Mages Guild, spells, join, E. Definitely excited to, definitely excited to do column. Succeed in life. There we go. Oh, don't worry. That already has its own column. That lady with the poison is bad news, depending on what kind of poison that is, all of Kavat. That lady with the poison is bad news, depending on what kind of poison that is, all of Kavach is in danger if she pours it into the well. We need to stop her, Kadia. I noticed the one period missing, but then just skipped over the other. I recommend you try to talk to her, and find out if she already poisoned the well. If not, try and talk her out of it. Mention how dangerous this is, and how hiring a certain cat wizard is much safer. While you talk to her, position yourself between her and the well, so if she makes a move, you can stop her. Ah yes, <laughs> with all the space there is. Anyways, while well, sorting your goals into arbitrary categories, you have inched your way over to the crazy poison lady inconspicuously positioning yourself between her and the well. So, hey, you say after a short uncomfortable silence, what's with that bottle of poison you've got there? Oh, this? The woman explains that some slaughterfish got into the well. She's trying to get rid of them. She thought about poisoning the well to kill them, but then she thought about it harder and realized that would be a really bad idea, so she didn't do it. That's good, you say? You tell her that for a second you thought she was actually going to. But then, the woman continues, she started thinking about it even harder. She realized her whole goal was to get rid of those fish and poison. The poison would do that. It would do a very good job, so poisoning the well wouldn't be a bad idea, could it? If anything, it started to seem as though poisoning the well would be a good idea, with some rough edges. And, she started thinking, what if there are no bad ideas? Only good ideas with varying degrees of roughness. She was overcome with this terrifyingly new worldview, in which all ideas were inherently good. If that was true, then would poisoning the well really be so bad? Maybe. Maybe poisoning the well is the best idea. What do you think about that, Katia? <laughs> Politely explain to the nice lady that she is <laughs> not very smart to the extreme. She looks crazy. Maybe she inhaled a few too many poison fumes. In the nicest terms possible, you tell the woman that she is probably not the best person to be dealing with wells. How about if you kill the fish for her? 
You have some ideas on how to handle it. Ideas much safer than poisoning the well. The woman says that she'd be very appreciative of any help. She says she's not really the best problem solver and was actually hoping that someone more qualified would come along and lend her a hand. You, you are more qualified, right? A person with qualifications? Let's see what the current lists are. Ad what your current lists list are. Adventurer, layman, sign maker, dedicated delivery woman, wizard in training, master of exotic dancing, resource gatherer, barterer. Now, isn't that an impressive list of more or less respectable professions? Yeah, you are allowed to feel a warm and fuzzy feeling over all you have achieved in the short amount of time you've been here. Qualifications? <laughs> Not only are you an experienced adventurer, layman, sign maker, dedicated delivery woman, building wizard, budding wizard, exotic dancer, trained resource gatherer, and vicious bartender, but you are a natural hunter-like carnivore. Killing fish? Piece of cake. You've killed at least two fish this week alone. Almost twice that if you count crustaceans. Watch this. Katia, you're reasonably good with fire, right? You could just throw a fireball or twelve down the well and kill or at least drive off the slaughter fish. Also, is being a Khajiit that uses fire magic anything like being a Khajiit? <laughs> Alright, no magicka. Yeah. Oh, took off the amulet needs a cat pun. I was waiting for that joke to be made. I'm surprised it took this long, given the nature. You have some other plans, too? That's good, she says. She looks forward to seeing what you come up with. Maybe she'll learn a thing or two as she watches you. Katia, ask about the density of slaughterfish in the well. Does it open up underneath? How many fish are there? If you plan on going inside personally, you'll need room to maneuver. And if you plan on using a fish net or something like it, it'll be useful to know if there's a chance the fish... If there's a chance at the fish hiding in some underground crevice. You ask the woman a series of questions about the well and the fish, but she doesn't seem to have many answers. All she seems to know is that, well, there are slaughter fish in it. Using your dark vision, though, you determine that the well goes down about 20 feet before reaching water, and you spot at least two fish moving around down there. Oh, she forgot to click the dark vision off before looking up from the well. Hmm, with your current inventory, you're sure you can come up with some way to evict those fish. Hopefully some way that doesn't involve you climbing into the well, because... Do you really want to end up being known as the cat that got stuck down the well that the city guard has to rescue? Yeah, getting stuck would actually be the least of your problems if you fell in. You don't know how to swim. Makes sense. Katia, slaughterfish are predatory and go into a frenzy if they sense blood. You can use this. Take the ball and smear it with some of the blood that is conveniently flowing from your eyes. Way ahead of you. This contraption you just made should do the trick. The slaughterfish will bite onto the ball, which is smeared with fresh Khajiit blood, and then you'll scoop them up in the bucket. Easy. I mean, come on, it's clearly why you made the, your eyes bleed in the first place. Surely you wouldn't be stupid enough to just turn your dark vision on in broad daylight again. Katia, doesn't this woman have a name? She knows who you are. You should complete the introductions and find out more about her. She's wearing what looks like a leather apron, and apparently she has easy access to poisons. Is she an alchemist? An assassin? Knowing her profession and skills might give you another angle on solving this problem. And at the very least, if she does jump the gun and poison the well behind your back, you'll know who to blame when the guards show up. And what is that personal interest? And what is her personal interest in clearing the well? Clearly the whole city of Kavach is not dying of thirst, so there must be a source of water. Is this her well? Does she really... Did she just really have it in for slaughterfish? Well, you wait for a bite, you decide to strike up a conversation with the woman. If she's trying to clear out the well, you assume she's a groundskeeper for the count? Oh, no, she says, just visiting the town. Supposed to meet someone here, very hush-hush. Don't worry about it. It's just she heard about the slaughterfish in this well and thought someone ought to do something about them. 
figure figured she'd try to help out, despite being completely unqualified, a bit clueless, and probably more likely to cause grievous harm to others. Ah, yeah, you've totally been there before, but don't worry, you've got this under control. <laughs> There's a bite now. Time to reel it in. Honestly, you don't see the big deal here. I mean, it's just some fish in a well. Yeah, slaughterfish. Slaughterfish, she corrects you. They hate everything. Oh, right, you tell her you read on them in a book once, though it didn't actually give any tips on getting rid of them. Try sharpening a stick into some makeshift spear, or have someone else do it, and tie it to the well rope and just start throwing away. But it's cool, you have plenty of other ideas. Maybe you'll, like, harpoon those suckers? Piece of cake. Ah, this should do it. You confess you don't have a very good throwing arm, and are maybe not the best spear crafter. Kadia should run over to the church, get a quick recharge blessing, and then attempt to try the fry those fish. Right, you tell the woman that it looks like you're going to need magicka for this, which you which for you means finding some spells to absorb, so um wait here. You, and don't poison the well. You're gonna shuffle off to the chapel real fast. See, you can get a quick heal or something. See if you can get a quick heal or something. Is this gonna be um what's her face? The one that everyone's talking about. Ah, oh, so you know healing magic then. The woman says says the need comes up frequently in her line of work. Too frequently. Think you can take care of those fish now? <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem, you say. Those fish are as good as toast. And you tell the woman to stand back while you think of a bunch of derogatory cat jokes to power up your magic. That definitely won't make her question you. Katia. Is a kitty going to catch a fish in a barrel or not? Isn't catching fish your favorite dish besides mice? Come on, there are plenty of mice to crawl around and... To crawl around and you are hungry. And besides, a cat saved the town, no fish was spared. That's the title you're looking for as a mighty mage? That should do the trick. Or not. You, you do know the fish are underwater, right? The woman says she's no expert, but she doesn't think fire works underwater. You explain you were trying to kill the fish by boiling the water. The woman asks if you've ever boiled water before. You say, I mean, a pot over a fire. Anyways, boiling a well can't be that much different, right? I'm going to be very, very disappointed if this Khajiit gives up on trying to remove fish from a proverbial barrel and continues to claim to be Katia Monica. <laughs> Don't worry, you've still got plenty of ideas. You can handle this. Katia can handle this. Besides, getting some fish to eat and scales to sell, this is going to be your way of showing Kavach that you are a competent and useful individual who can approach a problem and just straight up solve it, rather than run crying to someone else. Well, fire's out, but that's okay. You got this. You can freeze the buggers. Probably. Kill the crazy l lady that you're going to try some different magic, like maybe using another element? Something that can get you a quick, clean kill even underwater? She says that sounds like a great idea. She really would prefer humane, peaceful kills if that's, if that's something you can actually do. You tell her you'll try your best. Necromancer looking to kill the fish so she can reanimate them for practice. That's my current running idea. Maybe instead of when you form your magicka into a ball and ignite it, you can try another shape? Like the spear you just made? Focus with your mind and whittle it down but bit by bit if necessary. Give it a sharp point. Then you imagine a blizzard searing cold that chills to the bone. Then just thrust it down. This kitten's might... This kitten might need mittens if she's shooting icicles out of her paws. Nope, just fire. She uncomfortably points out that you're still making fire, and it's still not working. Might be the only spell Katia knows. <laughs> if cat burns make you shoot fire, maybe a different type of burn or pun will make you cast different elements? You only know one spell, your spellbook is as thin as a sparrow. 
Give it a nest already. Walk away as free as a bird and do something else. Lightning is associated with air. Air is 90 degrees from the fire on the classical elements chart. So we need a statement that is not opposite of a sick cat burn, but rather is the right angle to one. How about a confusing dark elf double entendre? Dunmer. I hardly know her. I used to know a girl from Morrowin. Totally had the corpus disease, if you know what I'm saying. How's that? <laughs> okay. Bah, these on the other hand, don't appear to be doing anything at all. But you've got more ideas. You can do this. You had quite the idea figured out with the bucket there, Cadia, and I believe it was working. All you need is a stronger bucket, since the other one was pretty bad. Wait here! Okay, wow. Those fish don't take stuff from buckets. You're pretty sure the blacksmith said she didn't need those pals back, though. You know what that broken bucket handle looks like? A hook. Time for another round of fishing. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And apparently these fish can bite through rope, too. You didn't even bait the hook, they just bit it off. But it's okay, you can still figure it out. Bow and arrow might be a good idea. I'm sure the guy you saved from that lock room would be happy to lend you one. Now there's an idea! Wait here again, and I won't- and don't poison the well. Behold! Alright, that was a bad shot. Uh, you've never used one of these before and thought it would arc down a lot more. You've just got to get the right angle. You apologize for taking so long with this. You explain you really want to help, but it's proving more complicated than you thought. The crazy woman sighs and the crazy woman sighs and says, "It's fine. Take your time." She adds something incoherent about how we can't all be nac nectarines, nectarines. Though you might have misheard that slightly. Almost hit the water with that last one. You thank the Mian Menyain. You thank Menyain for lending the bow. He says you don't have to worry about the arrows, but you insist you take at least two coins for them. You're trying to wean off using other people for charity. Best idea. Grab a bunch of overly large rocks and toss them down the well. Even counting for water resistance and the slaughterfish's agility, they should be crushed if you use enough rocks to fill the well. Ask the weird lady if she'd like to help Khajiit with rock. Okay, it doesn't look like the rock killed any fish, but we dropped a couple more. One of them probably will. Probably. We can do this. In fact, it might take a few more hours, but if we filled the whole well up with rocks, it would either bury the fish or suffocate them. But I guess that would cause an even bigger problem. What with the well being filled with rocks? You admit you're starting to think maybe poison isn't such a bad idea. Uh, maybe you could pour it down the well and then get an antidote to pour in after? You ask your new friend if that would work or if antidotes don't... Oh, crazy lady? Hello? You guess she left. Cadia, stop trying. Whoa, that's mean. Oh guys, that's why I'm going to be leaving this one off with Cadia trying over and over again to get some fish out of a barrel. Either way, next time we're gonna get to see her have one last ditch, desperate attempt to try to get them out. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Anyways, thank you, see ya.